So I think I'm going to shut up and bring up Doc, who hasn't been up here in yeah. so long. Yeah. Oh, Ta-da! <laughs> All right, Doc. 40 minutes of show now. You it was 40 minutes this time. I've been yeah. <laughs> I don't have anything scripted at all tonight, so I'm going to, I'm going to drift quite a bit, but just the story that, that, uh, you were talking about beer when you were in Germany. Um, I got married very young. My wife and I got married. I was 17 and we, we, uh, went to Niagara Falls wow. for our honeymoon. Okay. And I mean, I was, I was a big shit. We were going to stay on the Canadian side. Okay. Woo! We were gonna, <laughs> Ooh. Internacional, yeah. Okay. So we're staying on the on the Canadian side, and we're going to dinner the first night, and uh, we're going to sit down. And, and again, I was only seventeen, but in 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 which in Pennsylvania, where I was from, you couldn't drink until you're eighteen, actually twenty one. But in Canada, they don't give a shit. They say, "Hey, you go, hey, come on yeah. over, hey, have a drink." So we're sitting there at dinner, and and I got to order a steak because I like prime rib. And the guy goes, "And uh, what would you like? Uh, what would you like to drink, eh?" And I said, "Well, I I think I'd like a I think I'd like a beer." Hey, would you like a domestic or imported? And I'm saying, okay, well, you know what? It's my honeymoon. I'm going to treat myself. I'd like an imported beer. Son of a bitch brings me a fucking Budweiser, charges me $4. <laughs> 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 oh, I said, this is a Budweiser. He goes, you're from the States, eh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, heck, yeah. $1976, $4 for a can of Budweiser. Hey, didn't even get the glass, eh? <clears throat> okay, um, anyhow, thanks, folks. Well, uh, good to be back. I'm actually a little bit nervous. I tried to make it here last week to the best of my ability, but in the largest city in the world for traffic, there are only basically two roads out of town if you're going north, and mm-hmm. both of them were blocked. Okay, one of them is the George Washington Memorial Parkway, which runs right up the Potomac, and that's what I take, uh, and the other is the Key Bridge and Cabin John Parkway, which gets you to the interstate. George Washington Memorial Parkway was closed because a sinkhole opened up and shut down the entire fucking road. Okay. Oh. I, mean, so big. I tried wow. throwing a dollar across it. It was so big. It wouldn't go. Okay. And and the only other way out of town is to go across the Key Bridge. Well, the Key Bridge was shut down for a presidential motorcade. Oh. At rush, <laughs> at rush hour, I bet that okay? happens all the time. At rush Ooh, hour. You, about that. I'm yeah. sitting there for four hours. Because oh. the Emir of Durka Durkistan wants to go for a fucking joyride. <laughs> okay. So half of America is sitting here for this son of a bitch to ride around and go, Oh, look at that tall building. We don't have that over where we are. How would he like it? How would he like it if I if I marched a herd of fucking camels down Bakalakadaka Drive at four o'clock in the afternoon? Huh? You're trying to get home, motherfucker. Okay. Really upset me. I got home literally, uh, and I'm not kidding. Eleven forty-five. That's what time I walked in. Mm. Oh my gosh. Left Jeez. at six. Ow. Got home eleven forty-five to go eighty miles. Eighty miles. Somebody's eating. Whoever's Stop eating. It. Stop it. Stop it. Yeah. So yeah. anyhow, um. A little bit of updates. I've been very, as you know, I have been here for a while. I've been very, very, very busy actively working with the book, and I'm happy to report the book is done. We're working on final revisions. The audio book is also done and will soon go online, um, and we're working on a, um, a deal to sell uh, the book, the audio book, uh, comic book, a couple of others, and, of course, an animated movie version. And we're currently tendering an offer <clears throat> for $1.7 million oh wow who did the voice okay. for the audio book by uh, the way let me, yeah. let me give you my address I think four dollars and fifty eight cents, I think, something like that no it's like four thousand or five thousand it's seven thousand like five hundred dollars so anyhow yeah uh, you'll be seeing you'll be seeing some stuff coming up re- uh, pretty soon for the book, oh. it, we, it has to be perfect. We're, we're going for a whole media deal. We have a few people we're talking to, and it, it's, it's really looking good. I'm very, I'm very happy about that. But um, uh, update, okay? A bit of, a bit of tragedy at the, at the Grun House, okay? Um, uh, my Roomba is broke. Uh-oh. 
No, 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 no. Well, yeah, I, I, you see, when I was at the apartment, it ran for 20 minutes in a clean house. It parked itself. It bitched at me, but it parked itself, okay? My wife works it so hard. She'll work it two and three times a day. She blew the tranny in the fucking thing, okay? Oh, no. <laughs> A little transmission thing that makes yes. it go backwards and forwards. I come home. I come home last week and it's just sitting there going forward and backwards, shifting forward, shifting backward, shifting forward, Yay! shifting backward, going help Rumba, help Rumba, help Rumba. <laughs> it was <laughs> gone. Okay, the gears inside are gone. Bravo. Sounds so now, like a battery so now, operated okay. boyfriend. So now you know. So now it's now it's 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 sitting out in the backyard up on blocks. You know, God damn it. You know? <laughs> oh, that, this is how you know you're in a bad neighborhood. You got the Roombas up on blocks in your front yard. Boy, that's a good joke. The glass is blowing all around it. You know. And, uh, <laughs> A, a family of rabbits moved into it. You know, miniature rabbits, real little small ones, you know, but still, it's very, very embarrassing. You know, and, and my neighbor's Roomba, because my wife's friend had to get a Roomba, because we had a Roomba. It's laughing at it, because it cleans for like 15 minutes, spits out of two or three dog hairs, and goes, oh, you stupid son of a bitch over there. But I went on Amazon.com, and you can buy pieces for it, okay? And I bought, I bought a high-powered transmission for this thing. Okay. No Ooh, way. That's <laughs> hot rod. Right. <laughs> souped, <laughs> souped up transmission. Okay. Bravo. So I got it back in. I got it back in the house. Put the wheels back on it. Put the transmission on it. This son of a bitch leaves tire marks on the floor now. <laughs> <laughs> but does he clean the mud? Ran the fucking cat right over. Just oh, ran him over. Aww. Just ran him over. <laughs> Don't listen. We had the, it, it was over behind the couch the other day, and it grabbed the curtains, ripped them right off the fucking pole. It, it, I've never <laughs> seen Woo! anything like it. I've never seen anything like it. Uh, so, if you, anybody's looking for a room of parts, I, I, I can, I can part it out, okay. But um, I'm going to hold on to it for as long as I can, and and try and get another one. Um, so, other than that, that that is that's my life. I drive back and forth to work. I go to work. I come home. I go to work. I come home. And I'm hoping that the I'm hoping that uh, uh, the book deal will go through because I've already got an option for a second book, and I'm working on that. So I will I will um, try and give you a little bit more next time. What I'm going to do now is leave you with uh, an, a long overdue version of the lightning round. Lightning okay. round. Yay! Okay. All right. Yay! Here we go. Lightning round. Yay. A political action committee. Trying to raise money for a 2016 Hillary Clinton campaign is selling ready for Hillary champagne glasses and Christmas ornaments. Because if one thing improves the holidays, it's drinking mixed with politics. There are yeah. reports <laughs> that President Obama has finally found a nominee to replace Defense Secretary Chuck Hagel. His nominee is named Ashton Carter, which sounds less like a defense secretary and more like the member of a boy band. Hey, you hear that? <laughs> and may have attacked ISIS. You know how long it's been since I've been able to wear my Go Iran t shirt? God damn it. <laughs> the rain is giving, this is for Haley, the rain is giving much needed relief to California's crops. By that, Haley, I mean marijuana. In Washington, <laughs> the U.S. House passed a bill unanimously. Every single member of both parties voted for it. What was it? To deny Social Security benefits to Nazis. So from now on, no SS for the SS. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I saw that on Small Business Saturday, the president went shopping at a bookstore and bought 17 books, including The Laughing Monsters, Being Mortal, and Heart of Darkness. Or, as the cashier put it, uh, you okay, man? How about a little chicken soup for the presidential soul instead? Vladimir Putin <laughs> bribed a soccer official with a Picasso painting so he would support Russia's bid to host the 2018 World Cup. True story. Putin was like, it wasn't Picasso. Picture of what his face would look like if he said no. Nose over here, <laughs> eye up there, ear and forehead, you know what I mean. President <laughs> Obama will travel to Las Vegas to speak at the same high school where he laid out his immigration plan two years ago. So Obama's become that guy who graduated a while ago and still comes back to hang with the seniors. <laughs> <laughs> the acting director of the Secret Service, Joseph Clancy, said they may make the fence around the White House taller because of recent security failures. When asked if he had any other ideas, he said, uh, make the sidewalk lower? Uh, I don't know. It's the 105th <laughs> anniversary 
of the Gettysburg Address. It's all Lincoln this, Lincoln that, Lincoln with his big hat, yeah, yeah. But you know who had the young son hero here? Lincoln's cue card guy. Let's hear it for him. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Obama gave a speech on immigration, and none of the big four TV networks aired it. Even TV Aww. wants to distance itself from President Obama. Today <laughs> is Vice President Joe Biden's birthday. Biden started the day with a dance party and a big piece of cake. And then he remembered, hey, it was his birthday. Tomorrow night, <laughs> President Obama will announce his new immigration plan. Obama's favorite part of his new immigration plan is that he gets to emigrate to another country. He's tired of all this shit. And that is that Obama's new immigration plan will focus on deporting violent criminals. So this could impact your fantasy football team. Watch out. Oh, no. <laughs> the Senate came one vote short of granting approval to build the Keystone Pipeline. Democrats say the pipeline could accelerate global warming. Then people out who've been standing outside today said, Phew, sounds good to me. Let's accelerate that global warming. <laughs> <laughs> Germany has overtaken the United States as the world's favorite country. True story. Germany really? is the most popular country in the world. That's one hell of a comeback, folks. What do you say? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The favorite country survey was based on more than 20,000 people in 20 countries. Isn't it a bit unfair that they did this before the McRib came back? Come on, guys. Yeah. Pope Francis announced that next year he's coming to the United States. Or as Fox News is reporting it, Obama lets yet, lets yet another guy in from South America. President no. Obama has pledged $3 billion to aid poor nations. All that $3 billion is going to the United States. I hell about that. Bravo. Scientists say the European space probe that launched on, on the comet has detected organic matter. This means there could either be life in space or a whole foods store. We just don't know for sure. Uh, okay. This week, a group of activists known as Anonymous, a group of activists known as Anonymous, hacked the Twitter account of the KKK. The KKK <laughs> is furious. They say Anonymous is just a bunch of cowards who don't have the courage to show their faces. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday, the DEA raided several NFL teams suspected of giving prescription painkillers to their players. In its defense, the New York Jets doctor said, we don't give painkillers to our players. We give them to our fans. <laughs> <laughs> the Pope is coming to New York City He said he'd like to hold audiences with the downtrodden He's of course talking about the Jets and the Giants the Yeah, Pope's, they need it The Pope said that while he's in town He'd like to go see the Book of Mormon And Facebook is showing no sign whatsoever They will ever leave us alone They're developing Facebook at work We already have a Facebook for people at work It's called Facebook yeah. <laughs> After a six-year battle, six battle, the Senate will vote next week to begin construction on the Keystone XL pipeline, which is an oil pipeline that runs from Canada to the Gulf Coast. They're hoping the pipeline will provide enough oil to cover Kim Kardashian's next photo shoot. Uh. The pipeline would run from Canada to the Gulf Coast. It'll be the biggest underground structure leading into the U.S., then people in Mexico said, Eh, hey, senor, the second biggest. <laughs> yeah. That's all I got tonight, folks. Thank you very much. It's good. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah.